We're back today with a long overdue Sister Wives video. Before we get into this video, I just wanna give you guys a quick reminder that I'm over on TikTok now and I've been going through mystery jewelry jars and I also have a Depop where I sell some of the jewelry that I find in these jars. But if you would like to hang out with me over on TikTok, I will have it linked down below as well as my Depop. Oh, I have seen your guys' comments. You guys have left me some comments and you're like, where's your sister wife's tea? We are waiting and I know that it's been a while. And actually, I kind of left you all hanging because I was reacting to the season before this one, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I got so bored watching that season that I kind of just stopped. And uh, yeah, it was a little bit hard for me to get through. So I had nothing else to react to because I stopped watching it. It felt like I was watching a repeat of this two seasons prior, but now we're on a new season. And honestly, it kind of still feels like we're talking about some of the same, same stuff, but there has been some interesting things that I thought we could talk about today. I think really what it is is that this was clearly filmed like two years ago. And so a lot of the stuff that they talk about are things that most of us who were into like the sister wives lore already knew. I wish that when they'd film, they would air it like six or so months later and I feel like it'd be that much more interesting. Let me know if you agree with me in the comments down below, but I just watch it and I'm like, this feels like old news. Like Christine is dating in this season, but now she's married and it's just kind of like, I feel like we're watching ancient sister wives history. Like this doesn't feel like a new season, but there are some interesting things that I thought we could talk about in this video. I haven't seen all the episodes that are out yet. So there's definitely some things that I may not mention in this video. So you can just wait for the next one. If it can keep my attention, I will keep doing these videos. Or if you guys beg me enough in the comments and give me enough thumbs ups, then I might do more sister wives videos. It, the season first starts out, you know, Robin's talking about how she wants to keep Coyote past. She still thinks that Mary's gonna move there. And I'm just like, I I don't understand why Robin tries to act like she's holding all, on to all of them as much as she is, because it's like, aren't you the one that came into the family and kind of like hoarded Cody to yourself? And then you act like you wanted them all there. Like, I kind of feel like she came in and the way that everything happened was like, she wanted to be the main wife. And I mean, that's exactly what happened, but you don't get to do that as the fourth wife and then become like the one who calls the shots and gets to have Cody there most of the time. In the last episode that I watched, they actually talked about Ariella, am I saying her name right? The, their youngest daughter between Robin and Cody. Um, they were talking about her attachment to Cody and how when he would leave to go to the other wife's house, she would like hang on his leg and be like crying and be like, I don't want daddy to leave and all this stuff, which is totally understandable. And in a normal family dynamic, it that's a very sad situation. But in their family dynamic, we're gonna talk about it from the perspective of like, you're a sister wife, you have to share time with all your other, you know, sister wives and all these other kids. And there's a mutual understanding that all of the kids you know, need to have the same amount of attention from their dad, which honestly isn't very much because there's no way that a dad can split his time between this many kids. So it's really sad, like, yes, Ariella, Ariella should be able to have all of the time with her dad in the world that, you know, when he's not doing what he needs to do, she should be able to spend time with him. But it seems like in their situation that they allowed her to have this type of attachment to him that he didn't get to have with, or that any of his other kids didn't get to have. And all of his other children had to sacrifice time with their father, but Robin's kids don't seem to have to sacrifice that same time. And you can actually see some of the selfishness and the lack of ability for them to realize that they're being incredibly hypocritical in this season, which you see in other seasons too, but in this one in particular, because there's this scene where Robin is talking about how um, she doesn't really wanna bring up all the other children to her and Cody's children, like all of his other kids with his other wives. She doesn't really wanna bring them up to them because then they'll start being like, why haven't we seen them? Why, you know, why aren't they around? Do they not like us? Why haven't they sent us a birthday card? This, that, and the other. And I'm sitting there thinking, but have y'all sent them any birthday cards? Like, have y'all sent any of his other kids birthday cards? Like everything you're saying, you could also apply that to all of his other children, but does it not apply in your guys's minds? Because some of them are adults. Because one of the things that I've noticed with Cody is that 
Once his kids aren't adult, he doesn't seem to like them as much. And that sounds really harsh, but it's just the truth. It's like he likes them when they're small, but then when they grow up, eh, it's like they can fend for themselves, they don't need me, and he stops putting in any effort. What it seems like is it, it was easier for Cody to like make all of these kids and have them, you know, stuck in the house with all the wives, right? And have all the wives taking care of his children and he gets to kind of run around and do whatever he wants, <laughs> be with whatever wife he wants to be with. Because they were in one confined area and all he had to do was just show up to the house to spend time with them, that because that was like the lowest effort that he had to put into it, that's why that worked. But now that they're all spread out and they're in their own homes, some of them are married, some of them have their own children, now that he has to pick up the phone and call them or get in the car and drive a distance to see them or get on a plane, now that he has to put more effort into it, that's why he's not doing that. Like, I feel like he's a lazy parent. He went and had all these kids because it's all fun and games when they're little, right? but didn't realize, hey, they're gonna grow up and they're gonna get their own lives, they're gonna get their own families, they're gonna get their own opinions, and you're gonna have to put effort into them. You're gonna have to call them, you're gonna have to check on them, you're gonna have to go visit them and see them. Like, it's no longer they're just in your wife's houses and you just walk over to see them anymore. And I think because he has to put in actual effort, that's one of the reasons why he doesn't do it. I understand there's like this, you know, dynamic between him and his kids where he's mad at them and they're mad at him then there's that going on but like i also feel like if it was something just as simple as all he had to do was just walk next door like it used to be and they were just all together in the house that maybe it would be a little bit different and that's not giving him a free pass i actually think that that makes it worse i think that it makes it so much worse because to me it shows me that because they're not little anymore he doesn't care as much and he's not going to put in as much effort and or any effort really because they they believe that like the phone goes both ways but the way that i see it is you're the parent they're your children i think that when you are a parent you should reach out to your children if they're not talking to you or they're mad at you about something you as a parent should reach out to them and try and resolve that or you know speak to them put in an effort the amount of rejection that you feel your parent doesn't love you and they don't care about you because they're not reaching out to you that stuff goes really really deep and i'm just really tired of seeing him sit there and film these little vlogs and and bitch and complain about his family but put no effort into mending things. Like he thinks everybody needs to come to him because that's kind of like what their religion teaches them is that the man is like way up here and your wives and your children and everybody has to come to you. And it's like you literally do the bare minimum in this family because not only did you have the misogyny from your religion where all of your wives take care of all of your children, they provide all of the meals for you, they clean all of your houses for you, they do everything for you. All you have to do is wake up, go make some money, and go give your, you know, four wives a kiss on the cheek and check on your children. You know what I mean? Like, that's all you have to do. But, like, not only are your wives doing all of that, but some of your wives are also working and providing for you, too. So it's like he just had it easy. And now that it's not easy anymore, and now that his kids and his, his ex-wives all have opinions... He doesn't like that. So of course he sticks to the one wife that agrees with every single thing that he says. And this is also one thing I wanna say about that. I do feel like, like I truly feel this way and y'all gonna disagree with me, I don't care. Robin and Cody feel like they are meant to be, like they work together, you know what I mean? But I feel like one of the reasons why they work together is because they have that like, brainwashing from the religion where like Robin needs to listen to what Cody's saying and agree with him and it makes him comfortable. She doesn't question him. And I mean, yeah, she does sometimes. Like we've definitely seen it on the show, but for the most part, like they have this belief that like the husband and the father, you listen to his opinions and you learn from him, right? Robin does come off like she's strong-willed in some ways. So I don't think she just sits there and you know that they never have disagreements and arguments or anything like that. Like I don't think that she's like some people who won't speak up for her. Herself. she definitely does but I feel like at the end of the day like she still has the respect for Cody that um, his children and other wives no longer have because they've been so mistreated Robin needs to understand that the other wives didn't aren't they weren't getting the Cody that she was getting because Cody wanted to be there with her like he said it himself like even before this was ever even something where they talked about it like 
publicly, but all of us could like see it, like see what was going on even before they admitted it. It was so clear that um, he really loved Robin and was like the only one. I felt like he liked Janelle because there was a financial element to it. I feel like he had no respect for Christine and no respect for Mary. I feel like he didn't respect Mary because she couldn't provide children for him. And I feel like he didn't respect Christine because to him, that's all she did. I'm just saying. It's just like there's this scene where he's sitting there crying about everything that's happened. And I'm like, all of these, all these women, the only thing that they wanted from you was for you to give them the same amount of love and affection and attention and that to their mutual children with you that you were giving Robin and her kids. That's all they asked for was your time. And um, I don't know. I don't think he liked that his other wives had opinions and expressed them. And um, I don't think he knew how to handle it. There's also this scene where like Cody's talking about how he never loved Robin or he never loved Mary and that he essentially picked her out of a crowd to try and force himself to love her for 32 years. Okay. I feel like, you know, there's something about Mary. I, I don't, I can't quite figure it out what it is. I know a lot of people like her. There is something about her. I don't think she's, you know, perfect. Like some people think that she is. Well, nobody is really, but there is something about her. Like, I feel like there's some truth to like the anger claims that people are saying that she has. But apart from that, okay. Do you understand the level of hurt and pain that you have to unpack when somebody you have spent 32 years of your life with is telling you that they never loved you and they, for 32 years, they were trying to force themselves to love you. And then he goes on to say that it is her fault that he never loved her, that it is her fault because if he does love you, that is also your fault. And he, what did they call it? Like a Codyism? Like he really thinks he said something with that. And I'm like, what the actual hell are you talking about? Like that is such an abusive thing to say to somebody. It is your fault that I don't love you and that I haven't loved you for 32 years. Like, bro, are you kidding me? You married this woman that you weren't in love with and made her think that you were. You tricked her into thinking that you were and started this you know, empire of a family with her. She was the first wife and you have no respect for her. Like, come on, you gotta have some respect. There needs to be some respect where respect is due, okay? Because if Mary pitched a fit about any of them marrying into the family, they probably wouldn't be there and all of their kids probably wouldn't be there. So they need to owe, they owe a little bit of respect to Mary. Okay, because I don't think half of what has happened would have happened if she wasn't the first wife and didn't allow it. There was also this part where like Mary makes this comment and I would show you guys clips, but y'all have no idea how long it takes to find clips and to edit them in and to hope I don't get copyright striked or my whole channel taken down because I've added clips. So we're gonna skip that in this. I hope y'all are okay with that, I'm sorry. But Mary makes this comment, okay, that the reason why he married her first was because when they got married, Robin was only, what, like 11 or 12 at the time. And that shook me to my core, that little acknowledgement that she was a child when Cody first got married. Ugh, I'm sorry. You know, I desperately wanna go back and watch the series from the beginning and just kind of watch everything. Like with these new, this new set of eyes that we have to how everything like happened. I feel like that'd be so interesting. There's also this clip where Janelle was talking about how like behind the other wives' backs, Cody would talk crap about them. He would literally talk crap about his other wives to Janelle. I'm sure he's done that with all of them. And maybe it made them feel special at the time. Like, oh, you know, he's saying this to me. Like he feels comfortable to talk about this wife with me. But honestly, I feel like unfortunately they've learned the hard way that if he was talking about them to you, he was talking about you to them, it works. That's just how it works. Cody was talking about how he was never gonna end the marriages between the two of them, right? Like he said that it's not fair because in their religion, like they can leave if they want to, but he can't and all this stuff. And I'm like, dude, I don't wanna hear you talking about what's fair in your religion that is so misogynistic and benefits the man in like every single way. Like, I'm so sorry that one of the rules that literally has nothing substantial to back it up whatsoever 
was that you weren't allowed to leave them if you wanted to. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on, come on. Let's talk about all the things that they weren't allowed to do. Let's talk about that. They're, they're not even allowed to complain or be jealous that you're having sex with other women every night, okay? And, and like, literally when Robin came into the family and he's hooking up with Robin, Christine was pregnant with his baby. Like, come on, that's trauma right there that these women had to deal with. I don't wanna hear you sit there bitch and complain about this made up rule in your religion that you couldn't leave them if you wanted to. So instead, you drove them absolutely insane, treated them terribly, abused them emotionally, treated your children like crap so that they would eventually leave you. I don't wanna hear it. There's also this clip where like Cody's like sitting on the floor with Robin and her kids and they're like playing this game and he's talking about how this is what like a family feels like. And I agree, that's what a family is supposed to be like where you do things like that together. And like basically that in his other houses, like he didn't have that. And I'm like, you didn't have that because you didn't put love into those houses. You didn't put love into those children. You didn't put love into, into those wives because sometimes maybe it was a little bit harder for you to do that and it wasn't so easy. And, but because you didn't tend to those relationships, you didn't water those flowers, that's why it wasn't like that. Cause I'm sure, you know, your other wives would have loved for you to show up and be like, hey, let's play dominoes, you know? Like I'm sure they would have loved you to have that family unit with them. They were only asking for it for I don't know how many years. So you don't get to sit there now that you've pushed everybody away. You pushed all your kids away, all your wives away. You don't get to sit there having the outcome that you so clearly wanted and be like, this is what I didn't have in all my other families because you made it that way. Because you made it that way so that at the end you could get what you want and you're still complaining about it because everything is always everybody else's fault but your own. I feel like the, this season I'm watching it and I'm like, is it even fair to criticize him? Because I feel like he's actually losing his mind. Like, I feel like I'm watching somebody who's going crazy because when I listen to him talk, I'm like, you do not seem well. Like your opinions and everything that you're saying about all of this is absolutely delusional. Like it makes no sense. And you can tell that like the environment that they all live in is not a healthy environment. Like the, you can tell their mental health ain't doing well. It's like, they do not seem like they're happy. Like Robin's talking about how she's depressed and I'm like y'all need to make some changes in your personal lives if you're struggling so bad like if you're so miserable maybe you should make some changes it's just a mess it's a disaster and sometimes I'm like why are they even filming this I mean obviously they want the check but it's like y'all should probably take some time off camera and go get some therapy therapy that's not at a church but from like a licensed therapist um because you got a bunch of kids out there and this is what I hope for the Brown family um, I hope that they can all put their differences aside for their children because that's what needs to happen. It doesn't matter who said what to who. It doesn't matter how any of them feel about each other. At the end of the day, they have a bunch of kids. They need to get over it so that they're able to come to, you know, just a peaceful level ground where they can get together for their children and all the kids be able to see each other in a healthy environment. That's what, that's what I feel like needs to happen. And that's talking about the younger kids. Like they need to be able to co-parent with the younger kids. That's gonna start with Cody actually putting in some effort though, because he's not putting in any. And I think if he did put an effort to his kids, I think that all of his wives or ex-wives would be receptive of it. I am doing TikTok. So if you guys would like to come hang out with me over on TikTok, I will have that link down below. You can also check out my Depop. I'm selling jewelry over there. And yeah, I will see you guys soon for another video.